Welcome to ModernTheGames.com's extensive Vancouver 2010 coverage. I'm Samuel Green and we enter week two of the games with Amy Williams crowned as Olympic skeleton champion to clinch Great Britain's first individual Winter Olympic gold medal in 30 years. The 27-year-old sealed an emphatic victory after smashing another track record on her third run as silver medalist Kirsten Simkoviak lost further ground. Canadian icon Melissa Hollingworth pushed Williams the closest on Thursday but a disappointing last run meant she missed out on a medal as German Anja Huber powered into third, before Williams held her nerve and became the first British female Winter Olympic champion for 58 years. Norwegian Axel Lund Svindal rocketed to Super G Gold, blowing his competitors aside with a dazzling display of alpine skiing. Bodin Miller piled on the most pressure, but the American hopeful failed to eclipse Svindal's sparkling run and had to settle for silver while surprise package Andrew Waybrex claimed bronze for America. World and European ice dance champions Oksana Domnina and Maxim Shabalin produced a magnificent example of Tango Romantica to lead the compulsory dance event one third of the way through. The Russians posted a 1.02 lead to take great steps toward adding Olympic gold to their honours list, but Canadian duo Tessa Virtue and Scott Muir will not roll over gently as their sublime routine wowed the hometown crowd. Canada's John Montgomery produced an explosive final run to romp to glory in the men's skeleton. Latvian Martins Dukas looked comfortable in first place, but wasn't able to recover after the 30-year-old overturned a 0.26 second overnight deficit to clinch the gold medal by 0.07 seconds. Norway's golden girl Marit Bjorgen made it two titles in three days to continue her dazzling dominance in the women's cross country, this time sprinting away from Polish World Cup leader Justina Kowalczyk and Sweden's Anna Haag to take the 15k double pursuit. Japan's ski jumpers lead the pack heading into Saturday's Large Hill final. Noriaki Kasai and Daiki Ito set the pace and will be joined by the 10 automatic qualifiers as they bid for Japan's first gold of the games. In ice hockey, the Czech Republic took advantage of Russia's slip up against Slovakia yesterday to go top of Group B with a 5-2 win over Latvia and Sweden made it two wins and two with a 4-2 victory over Belarus. In curling, skip Kevin Martin inspired Canada to a fifth victory of the games by hammering Denmark 10-3, and defending women's champion Sweden make it three wins from three with a 6-4 victory over China. Here's all the news from Great Britain's skiers, sliders and skaters in Canada, brought to you in association with Lloyd's TSB, proud partner of the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games and supporter of Team GB on their journey to Vancouver 2010. British fans were in full force at the sliding centre and Shelley Rudman wasn't far off the skeleton podium, finishing slightly over a second off the pace in sixth. Her fiancé Kristen Bromley put up a determined effort in the men's skeleton to also place 6th and Adam Pengilly struggled to impact, finishing in 18th. Skaters John and Sinead Kerr delivered a season's best score to earn themselves 8th place after the compulsory ice dance, while 20-year-olds Penny Coombs and Nicholas Buckland gathered valuable experience, finishing 21st. Ed Drake put up an impressive performance in the Super G skiing and was delighted to close in 33rd place, 2.86 seconds off the lead. Eve Muirhead's curlers had a mixed day. After cantering to a 7-4 victory against Germany, Britain were soundly beaten 11-4 by Japan and now lie fifth in the table. No golds for the USA today, but they remain top and take their medals haul to 20. Norway had a productive day 8, landing golds in alpine and cross-country skiing to go second, while Great Britain's first gold medal leaves them 16th. For the latest news, interviews and behind-the-scenes gossip from Sportsbeats reporters at Vancouver 2010, visit morethanthegames.com or follow us on Twitter at Sportsbeat.